Hey guys, we are back in the shop with the E36. It's been nearly two years since I posted an update on this car. I finally scoped through some old footage and I made this update. I've got something that I really need to get off my chest and I'm a terrible person for it. But about a year ago, I let my car sit in the basement for so long that a bunch of fungal spores moved in and made my E36 cockpit their home. And I feel absolutely terrible about it, but all we can do is turn a positive out of negative, right? So upgrades are made. We went ahead and replaced the seats, the steering wheel, and shift boot, and the guibo was on its way out too, so we went ahead and replaced it. Uh, also, we dealt with that stupid cooling issue from the last video. Uh, also, we installed rear contours all the way around with Falcon Decenus RT615K plus wheels and tires, but we will cover that on the next video. Anyway, let's get to work. I've had these Summit Sport seats for probably about seven or eight years now, and they've been they've been good seats. Uh, they're not too bad. I think they're around $150 a piece. They're made of like this fake leather stuff. Uh, my driver's seat has suffered a little bit of fatigue over the years, but uh, I haven't been easy on them either, so can't really blame them. Um, they're pretty good, but I'm gonna get a little more serious about having a track car, and I'm gonna put non-reclinable bucket seats in. Isn't it fun when you pull out your seats and you find these hidden treasures that you forgot you had? got the intake pulled off so that we can get to this so we can get to this heater core hose um, this is the one that I call the octopus for obvious reasons this is just a terrible terrible design I, I don't know why they would do this instead of just put like a little metal manifold in the middle because this thing is just prone to failure anyways that's where it failed I'm gonna pull it out there's a couple other things in here I need to address like like this, this guy here. Um, I call this thing the turkey neck because it looks kind of like a turkey neck. So what this is supposed to look like is this. And this one was brand new and I ran it for maybe a couple weeks and then it collapsed on itself, brand new. So they put this like grid around it to make it stronger but in the middle it's flimsy so it just kind of busts a hole in there. So um, this thing is under vacuum and it goes to the idle air control valve and it fails because it's not strong enough to withstand the vacuum of the engine. So the first thing I did was I put a spring in it. You can see the spring. So I put this spring through it to keep it from collapsing. Then it collapsed in between the coils of the spring. I wrapped it in this silicone tape, which, which I thought would be kind of a temporary fix. I've driven around like that for like maybe four or five years. 
but you can see even the rubber the rubber here is deteriorating so the heck with this the heck the heck with another replacement I've got one that's made for a turbo so it can withstand positive intake pressure and it's made of silicone so hopefully this will hold up I don't know but it's gotta be better than that other crap anyways let's put this stuff in This is where she sprung a leak, somewhere in here. This is my uh, side of the road repair here. Just kind of squeeze it together and kept the pressure on there and it kind of held it in there. It's been about a year since I've installed this wheel and seat 
And overall, I'm gonna say that I'm really happy with this wheel. I went with a 330 millimeter wheel to match the one on my racing sim, just so it would feel a little more familiar. And I went with this with the Sparco suede because I just love the feel. I guess my only complaint would be it does shroud the gauge cluster where I have it and where my seating position is, but I'm not overly concerned about that. And now, as far as the seats go, I really like them. They're comfortable, but as far as driving on the street every day, getting in and out of it with these really high bolsters, I wish I would have gone with this with the the next step down as far as bolster height but i will say on the track it gives you all the confidence in the world because you're just planted in the seat it's been about a year and a half since i put in the new coolant pieces and those have been great and no problems yet but you know how that goes now the shift boot i could not be more happy with that uh, i want to give a shout out to my buddy john christie over at nine stitch he's the one who made it for me uh, he typically does e30 stuff but hit him up, he might, make some, uh, he might make some more E36 parts. Now, considering the condition that this video started with, the interior really turned around and I'm, I'm really happy with it. It looks like a new car, really. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna say that wraps this video up and I'll see you on the next one.